Our next inductee is Jan Stasny. Jan is the second player from St. Louis to play in the NHL. He grew up playing for Creve Corps, the Junior Blues, the St. Louis Sting, then Omaha in the USHL, and finally at Notre Dame where Jan took his talents before playing in the NHL. Jan has also represented the United States of America in the World Championships. He is married to Maggie and is trying to have as many kids as Scott. <laughs> I'll let him explain. Congratulations, Jan Stasny. Before I start, I just want to tell everybody about the shamanan. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank the committee for their selection, the, the honor they bestowed upon me. Um, when, uh, when I got the letter two years ago from Rupper, I, uh, I was truly, truly moved. And um, it was just, did, never thought about it, never, never thought something like this would happen, but, but thank you. And next, I'd like to thank everybody that was inducted. Uh, congratulations, everything's well deserved. So, um, you know, we moved, <clears throat> we moved to St. Louis in 95 and St. Louis has adopted us and it's been, it's been home regardless of where we've been, we've always come back to St. Louis. So, uh, I started playing, started playing, uh, in Creve Corps and then moved through the ranks in St. Louis for a little bit before I moved out, but just, uh, a few thank yous from the coaches that I had that, uh, all impacted me in one way or another. And uh, it started with Big Neil Kamenowski and Dr. Short and Mike Murphy. Um, and then I had Rick Schooley and Dave Freeman and Titus there uh, through AAA years. And then uh, when I was going through high school and juniors, I was, uh, I was still a scrawny little lad. And uh, I had some coaches that, that kind of kept me alive playing against kids that were 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, and those were Mark Finke and Matt Rubis, uh, Jack being Doc Bronco, Rick Zombo, uh, Mike Murphy again. But uh, it's it's been a journey, and hockey's one of those one of those things that it's uh, it's a team, it's a family, and everywhere I've gone, I've I've been all over the world, and I've, it's always been you always have that group, that family bond, no matter where you are, but. For me, it all started at home with uh, my dad and my mom. Thank you for everything you've done for me. If it, uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be standing here. Um, my, my two sisters, Katerina and Christina, and my brother Paul, you know, me and my brother would, would be out in the driveway almost every day after school playing street hockey and my younger sister would be out there whacking our shins and our hands and trying to play along so uh, I'd like to thank them as well and uh, hockey's been it's, it's been my life it's been it's been something I've been doing my whole life and I've been fortunate enough to play professionally for 15 years and it's taken me all over the northern hemisphere from from Alaska all the way to the eastern shores of our eastern edges of uh, Russia and Habarovsk and uh, throughout that journey, I was very lucky to meet my wife, Maggie. And uh, we, we jumped around from country to country in Europe and was lucky enough for her to g give us four kids, Reagan, Mila, Brooks, and Quinn. And uh, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for letting me be a kid through my <laughs> through my 30s and almost through my 40s so uh, and I'm I'm still I'm still acting like a kid many times and you're still with me so thank you very much and I love you the one thing one thing with St. Louis hockey is uh, I when I when I was growing up there was I was practicing twice a week and now kids are on the ice every day and it's because of People like people that are in this room and everybody else that's in this community, unsung heroes and coaches and whatnot. It's uh, it's been a, it's been a fun journey to see uh, to see what St. Louis hockey has done. When I'm, I'm sure these guys will attest to it. And 
when we were growing up, we were getting spanked around all over the, all over the country or even in the region, and now we're, uh, we've made a pipeline and we're somewhat of a powerhouse in the U.S. So I'd like to thank everybody for that. So thank you again, and thanks for coming out.